Sri Gurubhya Namaha children. Welcome to online classes. This is the first session of your social studies. So, for class 6, this is the new subject. We are going to see what is social science first. Why we have to read social science? What is the reason we are reading social science? Okay, so social science is the study of activities of the social and physical environment. That is, we read about the people around us, the places around us and all over the world we are reading and we are learning about it. It is the main purpose of social studies. Then it is also the study of human relations or it is a scientific study. See, it is the study of human relations and it is a scientific study of human society. Okay. So, what are all we are going to study in social science? The first is history, the next is civics and the third one is geography. These three are the major divisions of social science. So, let us see in detail about what these subjects are. History. History is nothing but knowing the past to help you succeed in the present. So, what does it mean? History. We have to know about our past, that is, the olden period, our ancestors, uh, the kingdoms, the many uh, rulers were there, many uh, type of cultures were followed. We will learn about that in history. History helps us to understand about how the people and society were there and history also helps us to know that how the society today we live have come to be. Then history also helps us to know about the past. Then comes civics. What does this civic mean? It is the study of the rights and duties of citizenship. It is called as civics. So, why should we study civics? We should study civics because it is a study of government and the citizenship. It is the study of what it is meant to be a citizen of a country. Then it also gives us about the roles and responsibilities and also the rights and duties of being a citizen. Next, it comes geography. So, what is all about geography? Geography, it, it is the study of places and the relationships between the people and their environments. So, it is the study where things are found, why they are and how they develop and change over the time. So, it is all about the more of nature. So, that is geography. So, first we are going to start with history and the first lesson is when, where and how. Now, we are starting with the history first lesson, when, where and how. So, when do we ask these questions? When we want to know about something, when it had happened 
or where, where it has happened, how it had happened, we will ask these questions. So, that is all about when to know the time period of the incident or a particular event, where to know the place where it has happened and how, be it good event or a bad event, just to know how it had happened, we will ask these questions. Okay. So, now what is history? This is a new term for us. So, let us see what is history. History is derived from the Greek word historia. So, this word is the new term and from which the history has been derived. It, it has the meaning that it is a narrative of the past events. So, with the word history, it is very clear that we are going to read more about the past events. So, the people who study history are called as historians. Then, these historians make many researches on these historical things and they unravel many mysteries and stories about the past to us. So, they are called as historians. Now, there are two different terms prehistory and history. What is prehistory? Prehistory is the study of human history even before the writing was developed. So, before writing developed, there was a period which is called as prehistorical period. Those period people lived, they used the tools other than writing to express themselves. So, they did not know about writing, writing was not there. So, they used many other tools to express themselves. So, one such tool was painting on the cave walls. When they were moving from place to place, when they were traveling from place to place for their food, shelter and everything, they used to paint on the cave walls wherever they stay. So, that was the most common method to record their lives. So, here are some of the examples of prehistoric period. See, these are all the cave paintings which had been uh, excavated from the prehistoric period. These have been found out by the historians. Now, what is history? History is a recorded narrative that is written of the past events. So, prehistory was nothing was written, only paintings were available, but now it is a recorded narrative which means handwritten details are available about the past. Now, the invention of writing took place all over the world at various periods of times. So, in India, it has been found that the written writing was started 4000 years ago during Harappan civilization. So, in India, writing evolved 4000 years ago only. So, this is the examples of the images which we have got from the Sumerian script which is one of the oldest written language. Here, these were the oldest language used by the ancient people. So, these are all some examples. Now, why should we study history? Because it is no, no way related to us today. Then why should we study that? Let us find the answer for this question. See, these are all the importance of history that says that why should we study history. First, it shows that how the things have changed over time. So, what does this mean? Like, we have uh, earlier known that uh, human beings are evolved from monkeys. So, from monkeys later on stages our shape, our face, everything changed, our lifestyle changed and today we are like this. So, to know that how these changes happen, we need to learn history. Then it also helps us understand the present relating with the past. So, uh, we can know that what all we are going or we are having today, how it has come from the past, how it has changed over this period of time. Later, 
It also helps us understand how the societies and communities we live today have evolved from the ancient period. Also, it also gives us the sense of identity. What is that identity to deal with in history? So, uh, with the history, we get to know that we are from this country, the prides and the, all the uh, proud moments of our country, all the battles we have gone through, all the changes we have gone through. We get to know that and we have the sense of identity. When we feel that we are, I am an Indian, we get that proud feel, no? So, that is how, that is the sense of identity. It also gives us the moral lessons from the past and teaches the value of equality, honesty, truth, self-respect, etc. That is from the great leaders we have seen through. See, for example, Mahatma Gandhi, we all know that he had never spoken a lie in his lifetime, which means we, we learn truth from him. And like Mother Teresa, she has come all the way from abroad to India and she has been taking care of all the Indian orphans and she had helped many people a lot. So, like that, we can learn many good things from the history, the moral values. Also, it makes us understand that many destruction took place, had taken place due to world wars. So, we also get to understand how many wars have taken, how it happened and what are all the after effects of those wars. All these, if we want to know, we should study history. And also, it is also important to study history to know that uh, what were the reasons for the past wars and we should learn that how those destructive reasons should be avoided in the future. And it also teaches us about the people from other countries and cultures. Next, it also gives us the better understanding of the world which we live in today. So, we are moving to the next topic, dates and timelines. Dates, yes, what is the today's date? We ask. So, how this date has come from? From where it had come from? Who told us that today, this year is 2020? We are just moving year by year and we have come to this 2020. So, let us see how these dates and the events have been recorded in the past period. So, to have a better understanding of history, the events of the past has been arranged in the order of the date of occurrence, which means the, the events which had happened from the beginning had been recorded in order and that is known as the timeline. This is the model of the timeline. So, how did we start counting the dates and the years? The dates were counted from the year in which Jesus Christ was believed to be born. So, from there the dates and years started. So, dates were counted from the year with which the year was considered to be Jesus Christ's birth. So, his year of birth was taken as the starting point for the calculation of date. So, and what about, okay, so this is the period we, we have found that the date has been calculated. So, what about the period before Jesus Christ, even before he was born, what do we say that? Let us see. Here, the period before the birth of Jesus Christ was called as BC, which is also known as before Christ. So, the period after his birth is known as AD or Anno Domini. The meaning of that word is in the year of our Lord, which means the year Jesus Christ was believed to be born. Now, uh, after changing of the systems, common neutral system has been imposed and the BC has been changed to before common era, BCE and AD is now changed to common era, AD. So, with this, we are winding up the session. Let us see what is next.